All right. So, wait, what are you recording for? <laughs> oh, for YouTube, obviously. <laughs> so this is the Hearthstone set review of um, Rastacon Rumble All Cards Hearthstone dot com. Okay, so how the fuck do I gotta do this again? Okay, explain your Hearthstone qualifications again. Uh, okay. How, how long ago did you start playing Hearthstone? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I played it like. Was it in beta? I don't think it was in beta. But it's probably one of the card games I enjoy the most and actually bothered to learn. And now we're here. Okay. So yeah. let's look at the first card. So okay. you have that tab open? I do. Okay, so here's Wardbringer, right? No, that's yep. not that's not no, like that's not even close. That's Wardbringer. Wardbringer, yep. Mm-hmm. So that's a shaman uh, card. Yep. Which means it goes directly in the garbage. Yep, right in the garbage. Okay, so, whoops. You're gonna need a larger garbage pile. <laughs> oh, don't worry about that. Okay, so here's our second card, Stolen Steel. Which says, discover yep. a weapon from another class. Now, this is interesting, because this one's a rogue card. Which means it could card, potentially yep. be an odd rogue. However, this is even. Well, it's even, yeah. But you can't put that in odd rogue. So that's no, in the garbage. That's garbage. <laughs> So you have anything, do you think that's uh, viable in Elemental Rogue or anything? Uh, no, it's just garbage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's look at Spell Zerker. So this is a 2-drop, two 2-3. Two, has spell damage plus 2 while damaged. Um, mm. It seems fairly easy to activate, but not when you want it to be activated. Yeah. It's also even, so it doesn't fit in Odd Rogue. And it's not really something that elemental mage would ever play, so. I don't but what about it's what about like spell? What about like spell damage mage? Uh, like you could ping this spell? and get plus two spell damage, I guess, for yeah. four mana. Yeah. But why would you just play like the four mana spell damage elemental? Yeah, that's right. That's even an elemental, so this is yeah. garbage. That's garbage. Okay, so let's look at shield. Shield breaker? Yeah, shield breaker. Yep. I did not think this through. Okay, so shield breaker. Had, do you recognize this art from anything? Is that a World of Warcraft uh, thing? Not that I've ever seen. Okay, well, battle cry silence an enemy minion with taunt. Huh. This is a bad owl. Well, owl's pretty bad. Like, I mean, it's a bad old owl, but is it a better new bad owl? I don't think so. Yeah. It only hits. It only hits things with taunt, so it's not good against, like, everything that's not Hooked Reaver. <laughs> yeah, <Herculean>. and, <laughs> you know, all the aggressive decks now are odd decks, so you can't play this card because it's even, so it goes in the garbage. Mm. As far as I know, we don't actually know anything about the meta. That's true. Okay, so Serpent Ward. So this might be a Shaman card, but it's actually a neutral card. It's a totem. Mm -hmm. A neutral totem. Huh. It is. Which I think has no value in... Yeah, that's a tribal with no value <laughs> to anyone except Shaman. Wait, is Totem Cruncher not neutral? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> no, it was a Shaman card. Never mind. <laughs> okay, well... Uh, not a Shaman card, but it's like one, so it goes in the garbage. Yeah, it's garbage. Maybe one of us should actually read the chat. Uh, spell damage, tempo, major thing. Uh, no. Yeah, but but like but like Goat said, even if you wanted to play that, you could just play the mage version with the elementals, which is the best deck the mage can play. Elemental mage. It, it is in fact the best mage deck in the meta currently. Have you seen the upcoming cards? Well, I guess you'll see them. But then involve elementals and mages. So, mm. Scarab Egg. Doesn't it look like Scarab Eggs to me? I don't know it why. looks like a... Yeah, I don't... I don't when, think it's a Scarab Egg at all. Yeah, see, like... Uh, Bugs is reproduced by, like, thousands of eggs at a time, so why do they have three of them? It looks like a mammalian egg. Yeah, it does. Or maybe well, an avian egg? This only results in three scarabs. You know? Did you just say a mammalian egg? Yeah, so that, that results in... <laughs> This being unscientific, which means it goes in the garbage. 
Yeah, yeah all right. Oops, I clicked something. That's not good. Okay. So our next card is Rumble Tusk Shaker. Rumble Tusk Shaker. Death Rattle summon a identical minion. Well, it's it a breaker. Sounds, it sounds like it should be an elemental, but it's not an elemental. Why is it, what makes you think this sounds like an elemental? I don't know. I, I hear Rumble and Breaker, and I think Earth Elemental. Oh, that's true. It even has Shaker, which is some other thing that Shaman's anyway, yeah. I suppose. And it has some uh, nice uh, Luchador masks on it. I like the flavor of it, but it's not an elemental, so it's garbage. Well, it has the Luchador mask. Let's put it in the two star for now. Okay. But it also isn't an elemental, so there's no re there's no way that you would ever use it in the deck. Mm, yeah. You specifically. Specifically. So regenerate and thug. Start of your turn, restore two health to this minion. Huh. That might actually be fine, just as a four drop. But because it, 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 it sort of has taunt. Because if you don't if you don't hit it, it actually gets value. Yeah, it could. Just trades into your minions, and oh wait, the start of the turn. This is garbage. Yeah, it's garbage. Okay, so now here's an epic neutral card. Four drop, three five again. Ice cream peddler. If you control a frozen minion, gain eight armor. Now, uh... this isn't an elemental, but it does have synergy with the frozen crusher elemental. Yeah, but you have to attack with that, and it's like an 8-mana card, so this is like a 10-mana, it's like a turn 9 play. Yeah. That's but a 4-mana That's a four mana 3-5, which isn't that bad. People do play just play that, well, not this meta anymore. Hmm. It has some potential elemental synergy, I would put that at 2 stars. Yeah, and also it gains armor instead of healing, which is uh, actually better in almost every case. Yeah, it's better. Well, unless you're playing that one uh, Warlock deck that uh, uses the Happy Ghoul to get Super Board Presence very early. But we don't Wait, play that one. Because nobody plays Warlock, so... People do play that one, though, because it just overruns your board really fast. Okay. Uh, Helpless Hatchling Death Row will reduce the cost of a beast in your hand by one. Mm. This doesn't seem worth adding a, adding to your hand, but as far as one drops to go, it does something. And, it's, it and reduce, it's a beast. If it reduced the cost of an elemental in your hand, I could see the value of this. Mm -hmm. You know what? This is actually a nerf to the death route to the hunter death rattle. I mean, not death rattle, death knight. Because you really don't want to get this in your options for <laughs> build a beast. <laughs> That's true, you really don't. It's because it's a nerf, it goes in the garbage. Hunter okay. nerfs are not allowed here. You can only buff face hunter. Only. Why the hell did I put that? Okay. It's going to get complicated unless I delete all of these. Right now. What, what did I do? Oh, what God. did you do? Uh, what happened? <laughs> did you break it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, here it goes again. Oh, wait, anyway. actually, I can fix this. It'll take me a second, though. So can you read, what's, can you read the Garabashi offering card? At the start of your turn, destroy this and gain eight arm. That is never going to go off. <laughs> At the start That's of your really... turn? Well, it could That's go really... off in uh In what world is a zero two without taunt going to survive a turn? Turn one and no turn after that. <laughs> <laughs> God, it even destroys itself, so you can't do it more than once. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's garbage. Yeah, it's garbage. <laughs> Okay, former champ. So former five champ. mana, one one, summon a five five hotshot as a battle cry. 
Is there any way to make battle cries happen? I mean, this card actually is uh, okay on. Well, no, not really. But <laughs> stat wise, a 5 mana 6 6 is okay. Like, you would play this in Arena probably. Yeah. If we played Arena. And it's garbage. Yeah, it's garbage. Okay, let's look at Trikari Trickster. Battlecry, give each player a copy of a random card from their opponent's deck. Uh, your opponent's deck is garbage, because they're against you, so no one wants that. Yeah. Unless you get, like... Actually, it, it gives your opponent a card from your deck, and your deck's yes. great, which means that you just gave them a good card. You probably just gave them your Frostlet Chain, a good job. Yeah. So, Dozing Marksman has plus four attack while damaged. Uh, I mean, you could presumably ping this and get a... Probably. Mm. And get a four mana, four, three. If you ran it again next to um, Animated Berserker and Warrior, so it gets pinged immediately when you cast it, you get a two mana, four, three. Yeah, the Warrior also has a lot of other options to... Um, damage minions immediately on playing them. So yep. it doesn't have rush though. No. I feel like you could have added rush to this and had it not be broken. Like it has zero attack. It's not going to attack anything unless it it's, it's activated. That would have been hysterical and also way against the flavor of the card. <laughs> <laughs> How does a dozing marksman have rush? <laughs> He's sleeping. Well, just, just have him be narcoleptic marksman. <laughs> yeah. So let's put that in the potential two star. Maybe not garbage? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, I, I like to take a nap sometimes. These are the hottest takes. <laughs> so you have the B B B Booty Bay Bookie. Booty Bay Bookie. So two mana, three, three, give your opponent a coin. That seems uh, bad. Yeah, don't give your opponent a coin. Yeah, it's bad. It's garbage. Okay. It's garbage. Ooh, this next one is nice. Three mana, two, two. Add two bananas to your hand. It's banana nice. Banana yeah. nice. Banana nice. So, um, this card can give you one mana spells. Is that good at all for mage in this current in the current archetype of elemental? Uh, I mean, it makes your minions stronger, which is useful since your whole deck is minions. Yeah, but, but I remember um, in, when playing the elemental mage, one of the main problems is your hand is just constantly full and you can't get rid of the cards in your hand. Your hand is constantly full. Yeah, That's but true. also one mana bananas are not that hard to get rid of. That's true. In a worst but case scenario, you can give it to your opponent. But it's not an elemental. That's bad. Yeah, but it buffs, it buffs elementals. It does. So maybe two star? I don't think there's any room for it in the current archetype of mage unless they had, I don't know, some kind of one mana, one three that would get some sort of benefit from playing spells. But... We don't have that anymore. No, we don't have that. Can Rogue use this? Oh my god, finally another cost card. Okay, so this is a Priest card. Have you been able to afford a Priest deck for the last three metas? Or last three uh, seasons? I just dust my Priest cards. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think I dusted the quest, the quest pre the Priest quest like three times. <laughs> oh my god, it's terrible luck. Okay, so this is the first card that is in fact a treasure chest. Arena treasure chest. Yep, it's a treasure chest. And the death rattles the draw two cards. It's yeah, that's that's bad. <laughs> it's four mana draw two cards that doesn't activate <laughs> immediately. <laughs> yeah. Um, is there any way to yeah. copy the death rattle or like summon this again as a one one or something? Mm, Priest might be able to, but I don't think Mage can, so I don't really give a shit. Mm -hmm. Wait, Mage has a card that can copy cards, but then you have to, then you're then you're spending like four turns trying to activate this. So no, yeah, would not work in, in the Elemental Mage. See um, Jello, and of course there's... this this is this is a. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize it said Arena Treasure Chest. Yep, there are Arena Treasure Chests because no one plays Arena. Yeah, they have so many left over. 
It was just a bunch in the pile. And here's someone who goes to the arena, um, who has arena patron, and the card text overkill, which is new. So the way this activates is you attack an enemy with this card, and it activates its effect if it deals more damage than the opponent has health. And I think that actually does activate on heroes as well, but you would never see that again in an actual game. Yeah, that wouldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if it did, it wouldn't result in a draw, I think, if it caused a draw. Because of the effect of the attack would go in first. Um, but it summons another arena patron. This is not a Grim Patron. Is there any way to make it a Grim Patron? Is there any way to give this rush? Well, actually... Mm. Uh, Hunter can. Hunter can, yeah. With Shaw. Huh. Is this, is this worth like putting in your, in your deck just for the bullshit amount? <laughs> the mm -hmm. very rare amount, chance of bullshit? If your opponent had a board full of 1-1s one and you had only Shaw on the board, you could potentially fill your, fill uh, your you're, board you're with right, though. patrons. <laughs> you're right, though. This is, this is not uh, anywhere near Grim Patron. You can't ping this. You can't, uh, you can't activate it easily. Um, I don't think there's any easy way to activate this unless you use like Hungry Drake or something. And then you're making a 9-mana play for two 3-3s. Three yeah, that's, that's junk. Hmm. I feel like this card could combo with like a bunch of other cards that have the downside of summoning a thing for your opponent. But then again, you ha you can't attack with this immediately. If this had rush, then we'd be talking. But um, it, it may be super meta, so let's put it here <laughs> into the maybe pile. Of two stars. Sure. Okay, so here's a warrior card, Devastate, has a dragon on it, that's pretty cool. It does have a dragon on it, uh -huh. which is kind of weird. Deal 4 damage to a damage a minion. It's not execute. I mean, it would work on most things that you would execute. Yeah. If you were playing it in like an aggressive variant, and aggressive warrior decks like Dragon Warrior did used to play this. Uh, I mean, I mean uh, the one mana execute. Just for yeah. like, tempo. But they don't play the two mana execute. <laughs> this is a one mana execute that might be similar. You could play an almost execute in an odd deck. Does Warrior have better options than this in aggressive, in aggressive decks? Maybe they're trying to enable an aggressive Warrior deck. I don't think Warrior has an aggressive deck right now. Yeah, and like Odd Warrior would just like make its armor better, <laughs> which doesn't make it any, doesn't work that well. Would this work yeah. in some sort of pirate variant? It, it could, I guess. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, pirate warrior wasn't has been a thing in a while. Not since they ruined Vorax. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's put this in the garbage. It's garbage. We have way too many of these to go through. Okay, so yeah, dragon roar warrior. Add two random dragons to your hand. Random anything is bad. Mm. That's garbage. I don't know, that one seems good. Add two random dragons to your hand. Add two random dragons to your hand. Hmm. You could get like Nazdormu and Yasira. That's true. Random dragon is actually pretty good. Yeah, you, don't, a... you don't have to put it in your deck. I mean you, I mean, you don't difficult. you don't have to put the two random dragons into your deck, but just mm. drawing them might be. And it's random effects can get you stuff. Oh out wait a minute! Class, right? Dragons are all about having dragons in your hand, and this yep. puts dragons in your hand. Yeah. Which means that it's good, actually. It could be good. Yep. Even, even though it's random dragons, it doesn't matter if they're random. It could be two one one dragons, and it'd still be fine. It could be. It activates all your all your dragon effects for the rest of the game. Pretty much, yeah. That seems good. I mean, the downside is you're playing Dragon Warrior. Yeah, that's true. But if they really, really want you to play Dragon Warrior, it seems like they might be pushing for that pretty hard. It seems like it. Also looks expensive though, so it's in the garbage. Actually, it's three stars probably. Oh my God, a Warrior card in the three star pile. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Neither of us play Warrior though, because it's too expensive. Yep. 
Okay, let's look at this legendary hunter card we'll never pull. Halazi the I, Lynx. I guarantee I'm going to get that first day. Battle cry. Fill your hand with one wooden lynxes that have brush. Do the lynxes cost one mana? I would imagine so. Okay. So the potential combo be. you can do with this on turn whatever six is to do the classic hunter combo where you play the Starving Hyena, and then buff it to extreme levels. Is that good enough? Um, this is a legendary card. Is this good on its own? It does draw I, you a ton of beasts. It puts a bunch of beasts in your hand that are one mana, so it synergizes with uh, the quest for hunters. And if you play this on turn 5, you burn a card. Hmm. This could have this could be a enabler for some sort of combo, or just the hmm, like you you can you could easily play the six. Do you even have board space to play this? Probably. Yeah, it seems like a good aggressive option for warrior if they're playing beast or whatever. It does kind of mess up your hand, but it's probably fine. It's it's probably okay. Yeah, so I put it as probably in the probably okay pile, which is three stars. Is it? <laughs> okay, Arena Fanatic. Um, no one should like Arena. Uh, mm -hmm. Next card. Dragon Moss Gorger. What does this do? Uh, Battle Cry. Deal one damage to all of the minions. If that was four mana, it'd be sick. <laughs> so it's like a really bad dust breaker. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I didn't. I wouldn't even really compare it to Dustbreaker. Well, it is a dragon, I guess. Yeah. I guess they had to put some bad dragons if they were gonna make the random dragon card. That's true. Aren't there enough bad dragons though? I don't know. Let's go to bad dragon and see if there are enough. Yeah, it seems like the place that would have that. Okay. Well, it's a dragon, but it's in the garbage. Yep. Okay, so here's an archetype of card that shows up a lot in this set. Spirit yeah. of the Lynx. The spirit of the cards. So of the it, it's kind of like a totem, but it's not called a totem, which confuses me because we're fine with giving a totem a totem card before. It's mean the, to the totem tribal. It's not like it would matter in these class cards. <laughs> I guess it's they important. just really don't want Shaman to be overpowered. <laughs> I guess. They don't want to make. Uh, oh, you know those those totem it. cards just so good. You know, <laughs> just, just uh, wiping up the current meta as far as we know. They don't. They're not. We're not prepared for totem cruncher meta. So mm -hmm. they saved us. Was totem cruncher last set? <laughs> I think so. Or the one before it, maybe. Yeah, I imagine that's sweeping the nation. Okay, so <laughs> this is a it's a zero three that stealths for a turn, and gives an effect. This effect doesn't seem worth three mana. Mm. Although, if you combo with this with the Lynx card. With Halazi, yeah, you could get a bunch of 2 2 with rushes for one mana, which is good. But it doesn't come online until turn six. Yeah, and you have to assume that this survives past one turn after, after it's stealthed. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't see any way you can. Well, actually. Could you get three mana value out of this on turn four in most games? I don't know. I usually play Houndmaster on turn four, which isn't a beast. Yeah, this assumes that you have a beast. If you just have this card and no beast in your hand, then you're fucked. It's also three mana and Hunter. And Hunter I, 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 don't like and I don't like these uh, cards without attack. They can't go face, which means that they're worthless on Hunter. It's not even an egg, so you can't even, like, cube it for mm -hmm. Devil Sars. Man, Cube Hunter is good. Headhunter's Hatchet. This is a Hunter weapon. Battle it Cry, is. control of Beast, gain 1 plus 1 durability. This looks good. You can go face with it. 2 mana, 2 3 weapons, pretty good. Yeah. 
Yeah, Shaman got the same card, but it gave them Overload. Yep. And it's pretty likely that you have a beast. However, yes. I'm playing it on turn two. I don't know, this is, this is pretty much good at any, any stage of the game. Assuming that you... Like, actually, Shaman Dix for a while actually did play that 2-mana, uh, 2-3 two two weapon. Stormforged Axe, I think. Yep. Yeah, I guess I would play that. Doesn't need to play it, though. Whatever. Okay, 8 mana, Moshog Enforcer. This looks bad. <laughs> so, it's 8 mana. 8 mana, 2 attack, 14 health, Taunt and Divine Shield. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to see this on turn 8. I mean, yeah. above, like, 8 health, it doesn't matter how much health it has. It's going to get Vile Spined. Yeah. And it has 2 attack, which means it gets eaten by Mossy Horror and Cabal Shadow Priest. And, and if you silence it, it's pretty much worthless. Yeah. Yeah, I would find, I would find trouble actually putting this into your, into your deck. But um, if you're able to like pull this off of a random taunt or discover a taunt, um, that might be a, the correct play. Uh, Although you, can, you, can, you can't play this in the same turn as the turtle thing. For one more mana, you could play uh, Osric, which is an elemental and probably has more than 14 health. That one is taunt, and right? Taunt. Yeah, it has right. taunt. Yeah. yeah, this is a much and worse Osric. It's a really bad Osric. Yeah, I might play this if I got it randomly at, 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 from my hand, but I would not put it into my deck. Oh god, this is getting bad. <laughs> the system I used to get these cards is not working out. Okay, Pounce. Druid card, zero mana. Give your hero plus two attack this turn. So are we, is this the comeback of Spell Druid? Does this, I don't make, think does this so. make Yogg Saron viable? Uh, no. <laughs> okay then. But Into the I think it is. I think it's still pretty good. Uh, what would you use it? I would use it to kill things with two two health as druid. <laughs> you have your hero power already. Does yeah, pretty but good now job. you have now you have hero power plus two attack. This card that you're actually going to put in your deck and take a take a draw for. This yes. one? That's what Druid yeah. needs, more removal? <laughs> well, it can also go face. Not really. It could. It could go face for two damage. You're, for you're, you're, pl mana. you're playing this on turn turn one? <laughs> Absolutely not. But you, you combo it with uh, Savage Roar. I mean, it's like... Okay, let's put it in the two-star pile, because it's two free damage. We it like cards that are free. It is free. Oh, God. Uh, stall for time. Okay. Um. Okay, so... My Hearthstone qualifications are not really there. However, both me and Goat have been to... At least one tavern, not a uh, fireside day event, I think. That's true. I have been to one fireside gathering. I went to one in San Francisco, I think. I, th I, I, I didn't physically go to it. I just walked into the Alienware store, <laughs> and I saw, oh, hey, they have an active. And I thought, logging in would be annoying and take too long, so I walked out. We also had Dragon Ball Fighter Z playing. I actually went to one, and I played games against other people, and I got my... Warlock hero that I'll never use. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's halftime scavenger. Does that mean anything yep. in World of Warcraft? <laughs> mm, nope. That's a reference I'm not getting. Okay. Not that I'm aware of. Okay, stealth four three five, just like every other four mana card in this expansion. Seems like it. Um, a overkill, gain three armor. 
Uh, that seems garbage. And there it goes. Okay, serrated tooth. Uh, can you tell what? I can't really tell what this is. What this card is for? <laughs> what class this card is uh, for? Uh. Death threat will give your minions rush, huh? I don't know. It looks pretty interesting. Whatever it is, though. What fucking class is this? <laughs> I assume it's for, uh... Is it Rogue? I think that's a black border. I'm, I'm gonna guess it's Rogue because it's a fucking dagger. Hmm. Well, it's interesting because it, like, it gives you some the potential by giving up your... almost completely your... your weapon slot. So just do, do have all your minions have rush whenever you want. Yep. Is that actually good though for like one turn? I mean, mm -hmm. people play Handmaster Shaw for more to get that effect for effectively the same amount of time. You're probably not playing Shaw and Rogue. I'm gonna look to see if it's Rogue card. <laughs> I think it's a rogue card. It's a dinosaur tooth. It's a dagger. Well, you're right. It's a rogue card. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what people are saying about this. Oh, play this turn. Play this turn two coin with Hench Clan Thug. What? <laughs> Some people are saying you could combo this with Sonya Sh Shadow Dancer. But it only works once, so you can only do that once. <laughs> well, it's actually um, a rogue card that is odd. Which means it is that a rogue card that's three odd. Three stars. Yep, three stars. Oh, actually, being a rogue card means that you can just activate your hero power at any time and you can activate the death rattle, so that's actually that's pretty true. good. Okay, Cheeky Ankle Biter. Life Steal, Battle Cry, deal one damage. So it's a two mana Elven Archer with Life Steal. Yup. Anyone play Elven Archer? Hunters do. Quest Hunter does. <laughs> and they're able to do that because of the card that enables cards with one attack. And because Elven Archer is one mana. Neither of which yeah. are these cards. Yeah, this is... So this bad. is Pack Filler. That's garbage. Right, can you get any packs from this set? Looking at what the selection so far. Oh, no. Are you going to buy any packs from this set with your gold? I don't think I have any gold. <laughs> I have tons of gold, but I would rather... I don't want it. <laughs> I don't know why I got so much gold. I don't intend to play the game very much. Blood Claw. Kind of looks like the, the uh, monk weapon, Lion's Claw. That's a flail, though. That's not. It's the monk one. It's no, the, one that, mean... the one that you play with the seven-sided strike build. Yeah, but the weapon you're looking at right now is a flail. I suppose it is. But which side are you hitting the enemy with? With the spiky side. What about the one with the fangs in it, then? What if you just hit him with the top also... of the nose? I don't think it matters. It's a big spiky thing on the end of a chain. Just hit him. Well, it's a one, it's a one mana 2-2 two, two weapon. Which, I mean... That's pretty good. In Arena. Did you yeah. actually put this in your deck? For, like... Uh... Know? I think... Yeah, you might want to. I mean, this is a very, very aggressive option. It is incredibly aggressive. And it's not like Paladin doesn't 
have anything to heal themselves, so the five damage isn't that big a deal. Right, and this is a pal. Oh, this is only a paladin card. Yep, it's a paladin card. And this works in odd paladins, which means that it's a hundred percent good card in all cases. That's true. Mm -hmm. Blood troll sapper, seven mana warlock card. After a friendly minion dies, deal two damage to the enemy hero. Um, I don't know enough about the set to, and what it enables to be able to say this card could ever activate. <laughs> I mean, Warlock tends to murder their own minions constantly, but I still don't think 7 mana, 5, 8 to potentially deal some extra damage is worth it. On the other hand, it is a 5, 8. That's, that's pretty good. For 7 mana? I mean, the potential of this card is very is very high. Is it? <laughs> like, as a finisher? Like, it's, you have to deal with it, right? I guess you have to. But you would not play this in Even Warlock, which is the one that would, like, probably benefit from this. No, I don't, I don't know Jack shit about Even Warlock. <laughs> I don't know Jack's about any Warlocks. <laughs> yeah, we don't know anything about Warlocks. goes in the garbage. Yep. I think my chat... Okay. Flash of Light, Restore 4 Health, Draw a Card. Paladin card. Two mana. Spell. Okay. I want to just... <laughs> Before we even talk about this card, I want to call out the card Art. I'm pretty sure that's a Torin. But the face is all wrong. <laughs> oh, you mean this face? This face. Hmm. Yep, that face. It's too smooshed to be a torrent. <laughs> it just looks creepy. <laughs> it looks, looks like, really creepy. It looks like one of those... Wait, no, it looks like an Animorphs cover, like the midway point. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's like halfway between Man and Torrent. Okay, so. well, like Animorphs, we put it into the top seller's the garbage. Game. Okay, sorry, garbage. <laughs> I don't even look at that card. Two mana draw card is probably pretty good. I don't know. It's, that know, is it's, probably pal it's Paladin, but it's, it's an even card, so it doesn't go belong anywhere. Actually, even Paladin's card. okay. Even Paladin is actually pretty good. But yeah. storing health is not going to combo with anything. And it's not that good on its own. Drawing one card is not, not really that great for two mana. Alright, so Demon Bolt, destroy a minion, cost one less for each minion you control. That's. Would Zoo risk putting this into their deck for a instant silence and remove? Probably. I don't know. I don't know. From what I've, little I've seen of Warlock, they seem pretty good at going wide. And the variant of Zoo now is the one that just dumps their entire hand and builds a huge board immediately. So yeah, you could actually do this. Potentially, yeah. I don't know if like an assassinate effect is actually worth it, though. I mean, mm -hmm. it, se it seems good in like every deck that can play it, so... Potentially, three stars. Sure. It's aggressive, so we like it. Ornery Tortoise. This is a, a bad bad card. <laughs> okay. Three mana, three five, deal three to five damage to your hero. Okay, that's I a little be, that's a little too aggressive. <laughs> I would be pissed if I got that and I'd build a beast. <laughs> oh, you mean you don't want to play a spider tank with one more health that deals five damage to your fucking hero? No, I really don't. <laughs> okay. But spider tank is really good. Spider tank is, but that fucking turtle is garbage. Zero mana, generate, restore three health. Um, Lesser flash heal for zero mana. Did I priest, did priest have that. problems? All, all I see, all I see when I look at this is restore three health, generate another card with Lyra on the board. Yep. I mean, you could probably combo this in some fucked up way. 
maybe with like an Arcanine thing. I don't know. This doesn't seem good. And you would turn it into a this, mind this, blast with. I mean, uh, this, this would be a good you know. card to get from Lyra, which is which is you're right. And that's the yeah. only place you're ever gonna see it because no one's gonna put it in the fucking deck. Very likely. Was well, it's like a OTK thing with Shadow Visions and Velen? I don't know. What did I do? Oh. <laughs> Scorch with another fucked up wrong Torrent face. <laughs> I think this is the same Torrent as the other card. <laughs> pull up, pull up, flash of light next to Scorch. I want to see if that's the same Torrent. <laughs> Damn it! I can't find. Like, can I make this a red? Oh, what the hell? No. What did I do? Whatever, it's good enough. Okay. So, Scorch. This is a mage card that says Elemental on it, so I'll give it to you. Okay. Deal four damage to a minion. Costs one if you played an Elemental last turn. So... On the upside, it is removal in a deck that has no removal. <laughs> So that's useful. Uh, on the downside, it's a spell in a deck that runs no spells. That's <laughs> true. Book, Book of Spectres. Spectres is a little too good, and they printed it. Like, you, the moment you you want to run this, you immediately have to drop Book of Spectres because you cannot run this next to Book. Yeah, but if you're not playing Book of Spectres or, one, or like, one copy of it, or, like, one copy of this, it could still potentially be in the deck. Which means it's it three could. stars. I think that has potential. If if you run no book, no Orgal, I think Scorch has potential. Yeah, if they if they like really shoot for the moon on trying to get rid of Book of Spectres and Elemental Mage, which seems to be one of the themes for this set. Yeah, it does. Okay, Druid card, Tree Speaker, uh, epic, which means we'll never see it. Uh, Battle cry, they turn your tree into the five five ancients. That, yeah. This actually seems like an interesting card. Because um, Druid has gained a lot of secret ways to gain more treants, and you can put two of this in your deck. It's not a, it's not a legendary, and yeah. even though it's five mana, it's a, it's a four four. Um, however, seen... it transforms. That's true. Which if means you... they can't attack, right? I don't know. I would imagine they'd have summoning sickness, but like usually when you're using it on like druid of the claw it get, it has charge so it doesn't matter but i don't know it's, that seems like it would be very important on this card being good or not yeah i'm pretty sure the treants can't attack once they turn into the ancients i think you have to wait next turn yeah but like you you could in the best case scenario then you attack with this and then you turn into 55 five ancients which is still pretty good yeah 4 to 55 five is I nothing see. to scoff at I've seen enough boards of 1-1 uh, one, one Wisps with the Soul of the Forest. They die and come back as 2-2 two, two Treants enough times. That yeah, but haven't you, be... like, already won the game at that point? Like, you could just play yeah. you could just play a Savage Roar and win the game. Yeah. Like, playing this I mean, card this is, is... Ris is, risking, is risking. If you play this on one Treant, does it get value? Like, you are, you are adding, like, 7-7 seven, seven to stats for 5. Like we're we're just we're talking about its potential to end a game, but yeah, I mean, is it good enough to play this on just like two trans? Like I think it is. I think it's probably good enough to play on two trans. Yeah, and what makes those kinds of cards good or not is whether you can just play them normally. It seems like a normal situation if you're playing a very tree focused deck, then that's good. And we like trees, so we like this. You card. could play you could play Scenarius with this because that generates trans, right? Scenarius is nine mana. No one's played it in three years. Yeah, but maybe scenarios. No one's back. played it in three years. Kurgawa the frog, legendary shaman. Anyway, trash. I fucking hate this frog. <laughs> Why do you hate this frog? Aren't all because frogs I, good? I mean, oh, that's a yes. bad frog. That's a bad frog. It's, it's a bull frog. It's not a good frog. <laughs> this effect's interesting. Battle cry, turn all spells you played last turn to your hand. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Stat want line, that. stat line's pretty good. I However, don't want to see. This card is a shaman card. Means you have to play it. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to see deck. double. I don't want to see double fucking 
lightning storm or double um, healing rain or double volcano and then the frog comes down next turn and I'm fucked. <laughs> On the other hand, all shaman's good spells have plots of overload, right? That's true. Maybe you can play six, this card is six mana. Yeah, so if, so if they're really bad at math, <laughs> they play a bunch of overload spells and then they're like, well, shit. How much overload is Volcano? Well, the in, in the best case scenario, you would have to you would play your spells with a max of four overload, and then you could play this to get them back. Okay, volcano is overload two, so you can absolutely double volcano frog and then double volcano. So <sighs> that's bullshit. <laughs> I I hate this frog. <laughs> it's a stupid boar frog. Get us out of here. <laughs> I hate this frog. But is it good? Is it and no? Is it good that we like it, or is it bad that we hate it? It's it's probably a really good card, but I really don't like it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put in the new frog section. So okay. this is the frog section. Okay. Everyone, right? Everyone, remember this is the frog section. That right there is the frog section. Okay. Does this card have a frog on it? Let's check it out. The beast within. Now those are murlocs and our frogs. A tiger and several murlocs. Are murlocs frogs? No. They are not. Are they amphibious? Um, I would assume I think so. so. Yeah, okay. I think they are amphibians, but they are not frogs. So you give them a friendly beast 1-1, one, one, and then it attacks a random enemy minion. I don't see any way this would ever be useful. <laughs> um, because, they, because there is a card um, that gives a friendly beast immune plus one attack. And charge, and no one plays it. Yeah. So giving one no. more attack and then making it worse does not. I mean, not giving one more attack, giving one more health, and then making it worse means that it would only survive. Contra, contra. Um... Callan is so wrong as <laughs> usual. What frogs, now? Murlocs are not frogs. I mean, it, it probably depends what the Murlocs want to be called, and maybe there maybe there's some like controversies between Murloc and Frog relations. Well, anyway, I don't think this card's very good. No, I don't. I don't think it is either. And I play Hunter, so it's bad. Mass hysteria, five mana. Force each minion to attack another random minion. So that would include your minions. That's true. I don't understand how some of the math of this card works out. Um, like, if there's an odd number of minions, what happens? So presumably, each minion attacks one. Well, time. it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to attack a different minion. It could just attack two min. Two minions to attack the same minion. Mm -hmm. So this this kind of seems like brawl. It does kind of seem like brawl. Because the way the math would work out is that eventually they would all, most of them would die. Unless there was a huge difference in uh, in their health attack and attack. And health. Yeah. yeah. Uh, does Priest need this? This seems way too in it, way too uh, inconsistent. I don't know. It's it's pretty cheap compared to. Priest's other mass removal, Psychic Scream. Yeah, is this good anti-aggro, though? I think it's especially good anti-aggro. Aggro tends to have the big attack minions. Okay, let's give it to the Priest. Three stars. Okay, Blood Sail Howler. It's a monkey. Mm -hmm. And it's a rogue card. And it's a pirate. Wow. That's not odd. Battlecry gain one one for each other pirate you control. So when is this when is this worth it? And like one pirate, it's a two 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 for two. With rush. I think two two for two with rush isn't horrible. I mean what are you so... using what are using a two two card with rush for? I don't know. <sighs> I'm just saying, stat-wise, that's not a bad card. 
Mm-hmm. I don't see even Rogue actually happening though. Even 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 no. Pirate Rogue. You could just not use odd or even, and just run it normally. That would never happen. No. So let's put in the two stars because it's two, mana. Okay. That's true. Two mana, two stars. Okay, here's another fake fucking totem. So this is warrior totem now. Yep, the warrior not totem. A spell for one turn, your rush minions are immune the turn they're summoned. This would be super good with Arena Patron. If it had rush. Arena Patron doesn't have rush. <laughs> Into the garbage. Mojo Master Zihi. Yeah, this guy looks pretty cool. It does look pretty cool. Oh, I thought he was blowing a horn, but he's actually just drinking some potion. He's drinking that potion. Drinking the mojo. He's drinking that uh, electric blue. He's got that... Uh... Five mana. Set each player to five mana crystals. <laughs> yep. Just tell Druid to fuck right off. I mean, this kind of kneecaps yourself, too. I mean, if you play it on curve... Wait a minute. It doesn't, doesn't really do anything. But, it's, I mean, it still sets your opponent one mana higher than you are, but... Okay, it doesn't refresh mana crystals, though, right? I don't think so. Yeah, so you drop this, and then you have five mana crystals. But since you spent six mana crystals to play this, then you'd be at zero, five empty mana crystals. Yep. And then your opponent would be on five mana. Yep. So you potentially play this and four and a four mana card, but at turn ten that would probably not matter. No. Is this is this specifically very good against combo? It, I think it is potentially good against combo since it's, it very likely sets them back a couple turns before they can pull something off. But it does, does, but does it also set turn. you to, you back to do that? <laughs> Again, it does. But if you can delay a combo dex combo for a couple of turns, that could be how you win. I don't want to exist in a meta where combo decks are playing this card against each other. That's true. Let's put it in the frog pile. I like it because... It it's gone into the tells, frog pile. It, it tells Druid to fuck off. That's why I like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Okay, you exist in the three stars. Zul'jin. Our favorite Har Hearthstone hero. 10 out of 10. The Hearthstone hero we admire most. Zul'jin. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of the fact that they used... Uh, the WoW version of Zul'jin instead of the Warcraft 2 version of Zul'jin, but I'll take it. Uh, Warcraft 2 doesn't exist. It will when they remaster it. They're never going to do that. <laughs> do it, Blizzard, you cowards. Taka. Three mana, splitting image, major secret. When one of your minions attacks, summon a copy of it. So, the value of this card... Is that it makes it so you can't actually pr you can, there's no safe way to check if Mage has has any secrets anymore. I was gonna say that exact thing. <laughs> the only useful thing that this does is that it's impossible to check if he if it it's active or not. I would not play this in the, in the current build of Secret Mage, but who knows? Maybe maybe I maybe it could. I don't know. Secret Mage would de Secret Mage would definitely not run it, but because Primordial Glyph and Arcane Keysmith exists, you can't ignore the possibility that your opponent has it. You can ignore the possibility of it you put it being inside of your deck though. Yeah, I don't I don't see it in the deck. Okay, Snapjaw Shell Fighter. Oh, that's actually very good card art. Extremely good card art. Dude, that is. Just strap a fucking snapping turtle to your arm. That's that, good, that turtle looks meaner than the warrior. Yeah it does. <laughs> <laughs> the turtle's mean mugging. It's like Hazuki over there. Yep. So it's an epic card, 5 mana, 3, 8. Whenever an adjacent minion takes damage, this minion takes it instead. Oh, that's that's a terrible effect. Uh... Hmm. It is 5 mana, though, so it's not as fucking awful as both. And the thing is that this actually does have attack associated with it. Yeah, that's that's the difference between both and Wait, this. No. This thing actually swings. Mm -hmm. Well, no, actually it has the same stats as both, as both but... I meant, I, I meant to say that if, if if they attacked this minion instead, then it wouldn't deal the damage, but it doesn't. Oh, yeah. It doesn't it, attack it, it just the minion instead. The problem with both of that, it, it all does is take the damage. It doesn't retaliate. Mm. So, in fact, the... Both, both only works on your hero, not, not your minions. Yeah. 
but the, the effect of being a pseudo taunt is the same. Only for what minions if, instead, and, what, and, what five, and it's only five mana. Uh, um, what happens I, if an AOE hits? Like, does this eat all the AOE damage? Yes, because when it takes damage, not not just attack, it will take it instead. That's pretty good. Yeah, that is an, inter that is an interesting effect. It could be a good way to protect cards. However, I don't think this is strong enough to be used in anything except a very specific strategy. Yeah. If that ever exists. And I can't think of one off the top of my head, so I'm just going to put it into the maybe file. Okay. Druid spell, Mark of the Loa, Raptors. Does this look good? Um... Summoning 2-3-2 two, two Raptors is on curve. It is. But 3 twos are bad. Well, these Raptors are beasts. And Beast Hunter, I mean, Beast Druid, as we know, sucks ass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this is actually okay on its own, giving it to a minion 2-4 and taunt. Because uh, that works so fucking well in that two mana covered they have, right? No. No one plays that. Uh. Mashog announcer, five mana, six five. Enemies attacking this have a decent chance to attack someone else. I mean, it's, be it's probably... better than other ogres. <laughs> yeah. It's probably pretty funny if you play it. <laughs> yeah. Two stars. It's funny. It's funny. Priest card, 333, Sand Drudge. Whenever you cast a spell, summon a 1 1 the zombie with taunt. Ooh. Priest does love spells. Priest does indeed love spells. If you could somehow bullshit this with a with a Lyra and Radiant Elemental, you would be set. Until so they you until they AOE your entire your entire board. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Very, very likely. Does it's Priest not... would this be good late game if you could summon like four one one taunts on demand? Uh, no. I mean, if you actually this this could, this could like enable playing uh priest card priest buff cards because it would, it always give you a target for it. I guess that's true. And maybe it's target with taunt even. What buff cards does priest have? Uh, power of tentacle. The power of tentacle rotated. Did no, it? It, yeah, it did. That was like a Thune card. Uh, what's the one that's like too many arms or something? <laughs> hmm. Well, unless there's like some really bullshit legendary that involves priest buff cards, I don't see this uh, fitting into a deck except that one. And maybe that that could happen. I'd, I'd have to see the card first, so put it into the. Uh, extra arms. Put in the card I don't know what to do with, so that's two stars. Now here's an interesting card. Rogue. Seven mana. <laughs> it's an odd cost card for Rogue. Yeah, but it's seven mana. I can't yes. remember the last time I played a minion above five mana in a Rogue deck. Maybe this is going to be the thing that changes it. So Battlecry Discover 1-1 copy of the Battlecry minion, it costs 1, so it's very likely you'll get a minion that's more than 1 mana cost. That's true. I, no, you wouldn't play this about anything. It's, way too, have to it's hit, way too random. You'd have to hit something really good for that to be worth it. Alexstrasza every time. Legendary play this with Yogg in Wild. Okay, so now we have some copyright violations here. With Da and Da Taka. Y yeah. So Battle Cry game Death Rattle effects are three friendly minions that died this game. Eight mana, eight five. All Death Rattle effects are universally powerful. 
True. How would this help you? Um, you would draw from Loot Hoarder. You uh, like this. This would work pretty well in a Preet's deck, right? Probably. They have pretty death rattles usually. Is it Draws eight mana and... good though? Um. Maybe. I don't know. Well, we said maybe, so let's put it into the maybe two star whatever pile. That's a good card, right? We're never crafting that in a million years now. Even if we were like to use it with the hunter, with the pine veins or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here we have uh, God of Zerilla, but neutral. This card is clearly very powerful. I mean, potentially. Seven, seven mana is like not that bad. This sounds Ten like elves. this sounds like they, they initially put it at a higher mana cost and nobody played it, so they just lowered one mana because fuck it. Very likely. Line Cracker. It's probably a pun. Yes. You wouldn't put this in, in your deck. What are you doing, idiot? Yeah, I don't think so. Could be Bog interesting Slosher around. Shaman card. Automatic garbage. But it says return a friendly minion to your hand and give it 2 2. And it's you know a... who likes returning friendly minions to your hand and giving it 2 2? Shaman. Shutterwalk now... does. Not Shaman. That's true. No one cares about Shaman anymore, but Shutterwalk's a pretty good deck. And it's an elemental. That's good. Uh -huh. uh, Shutterwalk actually <laughs> does. Mm, actually. Yeah, Shutterwalk plays the the um, epic card that draws a draws a uh, elemental from your deck. This is one target for that. And being able to search cards is pretty good, especially because sure. you could if, if you get that from this, then you could play this on that card and then search another elemental. I don't think Shutterwalk still runs Sandshaper, do they? I have no idea. <laughs> it, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. <laughs> Okay. I think it used to when you wanted to grab Grumble, but I think it runs more elementals now, so they don't run Sand Shaper anymore. I still think this could this could be something, but it's Shaman, so it's in the garbage. And never mind, we put in the second the two mana card. Okay. Two stars. This looks like a pretty good, pretty cool card. You know, just drop it at the playground when you're admiring each other's cool Hearthstone packs that you definitely pulled physically. Oh yeah, you throw down like a slammer, like a pog slammer. Are there any other kinds of slammers? Banana slammers? Maybe. Okay, so Gonk the Raptor is a 7 mana 4-9. After your hero attacks and kills a minion, it may attack again. Okay, by the rules of comic Wait. grammar, with the... With this, with this I mean, the, the raptor attacks again, or your hero does? So, based on SAT grammar, this is a common example of um, subject verb confusion. <laughs> no, that, never mind, not, not that. It's a um, ambiguous subject. Because yeah. it's saying it may attack again. By the rules of common grammar, that would be the last the last noun set or object said, and that's the minion. So be... And that's the minion being killed, which who may who may attack again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't. So this card is grammat this card is grammatically bad, so I'm gonna put it in the garbage. <laughs> I'm, yeah, gonna, I'm not gonna look at it anymore. <laughs> I'm completely fine with that decision. <laughs> we don't need any more cards in Hearthstone that don't do what they say on the fucking card card text. And you know this card almost got cut because it has three lines of text. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Molten Golem. This is not even close to what it actually does. Okay, uh, Seance Priest card, two mana. Uh, is two mana good enough to copy a minion now to your hand? Uh, probably. Yeah, two mana draw Maybe. draw any minion you want that is currently on the board. This yeah, actually it seems like it could be, it could fuck up a lot of opponents' things. Like if you if they put a really like any any stage of Rin in in Warlock, you could just kill their deck at the same time or do it even faster. Are there any other targets that you remember like that? Considering it adds copy to your hand, this actually does seem pretty flexible. I think you could you could get away with putting this in your deck. It seems pretty uh, meany. Yeah, it seems pretty good. 
It's two mana at the late game threat to your hand, basically. <laughs> two mana is not that bad for that card. So, I guess you can just throw it in your deck and see what happens. Rogue card, eight mana, even. It's trash. Summon three pirates yep. from your deck. Give them rush. Mm. However, this incentivizes playing more high high mana cost pirates. I'm not sold on. Neither am I. I need to see the even the even pirate rogue that they are clearly trying to do. I don't think even is that good for rogue. I've heard that it's like you can make that deck, but the benefit of having a one mana hero power is not that big. Mm. Like there are enough cards and and rogue to do that. You're missing out a lot of a lot of the good ones though, like the real big threats, like the Flappy Bird or the. Hedge Clan Thug or the other one that gets way too big. Uh, where the, where did we put the other pirate rogue decks? Where's that even one going? Whatever, it's put in the maybe. Okay, we gotta speed this up. We're going too late. <laughs> Sightless Ranger, 5 mana overkill, summon 2, the 1 1 bats, 3 5. It's a 5 mana 3 5. It's going to die. Yeah, that's garbage. It does have Russian overkill, though. So that could activate more than you think it could. Garbage. 5 mana 3 4. Garbage. Oh, this is an interesting card. Mage, 0 mana, elemental mm. evocation. Next to elemental, you play this turn, cost 2 less. Um, would is... Mage Elementals. Would Mage Elemental deck play. Aerovate. <laughs> this is a coin for your giant. <laughs> uh, you can coin Mountain Giant for the, this. Okay, I put the Elemental Evocation right over Zoltan's face. Good idea. Elemental three stars automatically. Hunter, Hunter, if you have a weapon equipped, discover a spell. I wouldn't play. Hunter, I would not play this in Spell Hunter. Goodbye. I mean, obviously you wouldn't, but would you play it in Weapon Hunter? That doesn't exist. Hunter weapons suck too much ass. I mean, there's like there's the three mana one with the that's pretty good, with the trap synergy. And this could discover a trap. If you have a weapon, if you don't count on really having a weapon, Hunter, I guess. Ember Scale Drake, you're holding a dragon, gave, gain five armor. Yo, this is really fucking good in Dragon Warrior. <laughs> that's pretty fucking good, yeah. Yeah, no, that's as good. Now, here's a bullshit card Big Bad Voodoo. Give a friendly minion death battle. Summon a random minion that costs one more. Um. So it's kind of like a death rattle of Evolve. Yeah. Death Rattles? Does Shaman have any synergy with this Death Rattles? Not really. Seems good enough though. Like Death Rattles are usually strong. Like would you rather would you rather run this or would you rather run Ancestral whatever the fuck that just brings it back to life? Hmm. Would you gamble for the increased mana for a potentially better card or just get the same thing back? I wouldn't build a deck around this because it's only a buffer one card. But is it good enough just on tempo? I don't think so. Yeah, evolve on one minion isn't very good. However, you get to do something with it. I don't think it's going to change any of Shaman's current strategies. Unless they really give me some bullshit. War Druid Loti, 3 mana, War Druid, Druid Guard, 1 2, 2 ramp to 1 of Loti's 4 dinosaur forms. Um, I've seen this card, it's pretty much all variants on like 2 4s with Taunt, Rush, Charge, Divine Shield, something or other. Life Steal. Yeah. One of them has spell damage. Which... Flex flexible cards are good. It's pretty flexible. And it's a Druid, which means that they will find a fucking way to play it. Very likely. 
Hunter card, three mana masters called discover in, discover them in your deck and multiple your beasts, draw them all. Three mana draw three beasts. That's pretty powerful. If that's, you're that's the, co the cost of only playing beast minions. Are beasts that good? Beasts are pretty good. And considering you can't, considering there's can't there's a, in like cube or anything, but why couldn't you play oh yeah. Cube isn't a beast. I thought it was a beast. That but uh someone in the chat called me out on that, and I remember that it is not. I mean, what if you only have one, one minion left in your deck, or one of one of a particular kind of minion left in your deck? Like, what if you have like three dire frenzied uh, stone toast uh, cores? Then, then, then that just wait. What are you, what are you saying? If you have three, three of the an identical minion in your deck, and that's all you have. Discover doesn't give you multiple. Doesn't give you duplicates usually. It would give you duplicates of the three different cards in your hand, in your deck, because they would all be at different positions in your deck. They would be different oh. cards, even though they would be identical. Okay. You can have you can have the same deck card in your deck more than once. I think. That, that is an interaction I don't know about, but also uh, if the, if this card doesn't have all three, then it would only draw one of them. Right. Like three mana draw one is bad. But three God mana damn draw it! This is... card this card doesn't specify what it, if it if it doesn't activate on all three beasts if it draws it or not. I'm just, it just says discover well, it, a minion in your deck. If you discover it, then you get it. That's how just yeah, but, but yeah, but but does it does it go out of your deck? It doesn't specify. I'm, I'm gonna assume that it does because it grammar crime. It draw grammar crime in the trash. The <laughs> okay. God forbid Hearthstone actually designs their deck, their cards to. No, they're great designing they cards. Do. They're not good at editing the grammar. <laughs> they're making it clear what they actually do. It's a competing roar. Summon a random beast from your hand and give it a rush. Yep. Um, maybe. Big druid, big beast druid. Six mana is pretty pretty high though. Yeah, but you got to think of it as cheating something bigger out with rush. Yeah. Would you pay six mana to put a six mana card? Devils over. Would you spend? I mean, would you spend two cards much. to play a six mana card? I don't know about that. Maybe if it, it had some hidden potential, but I don't see it right now. If you hit Tarantus, maybe. Who the fuck plays Tarantus in their deck? Big Druid. Someone who, someone running Stampeding Roar. Yeah, I guess so. If, if it's the only card in your deck and you only run one copy of it, because <laughs> you're not going to play Tarantus otherwise, so you just have that one card to play Tarantus out of your hand. <laughs> Best two card combo in the game. <laughs> yep. Okay, Kali the Rhino. Warrior card. Rush, overkill, draw. Rush minion from your tech give it 5 5. I think this is trash. <laughs> it requires overkill. It requires overkill, otherwise, it's just a 5 5 with rush for 8 mana, which is really damn expensive. I, I honestly don't know enough about the meta to know if this would activate more often or not. So let's go over here. I mean, it'll probably kill something. Crowd Roaster, Dragon, 7-4. Seven, 7-7-4. Four, seven, seven, four. If you're holding a dragon, deal 7 damage to an enemy minion. That's a pretty big spell effect for a battle cry. It is. It seems more likely you'd get this out of your, uh, out of the random dragon pool than, uh, than actually play yeah. it in your deck, though. And this is deck building, so we're not gonna... Very likely, yeah. We're not gonna rate it when it randomly appears in our hand. And I don't think Warrior, I don't think Warrior really needs a better removal for 7 mana. <laughs> they have plenty of options for that. Uh, Spirit of the Frog. It's a fake totem. Even Shaman doesn't get a totem for this. Nope. Well, you know where this goes. In the frog spot. In the frog spot.
Whoops, that's not... That's wrong. Uh-oh. Okay, warrior. I mean warlock. The other thing that starts with four. In Warcraft. Grim Rally. One mana. Destroy a friendly minion. Give your minions one plus one plus one. I think Warlock could run this pretty easily, actually. I don't know. It's the Mark of the Lotus effect. It seems okay. Well, maybe. I don't know what it, I don't know what it would actually replace. I don't know enough about Warlock, but it seems like something they would use. Totemic Smash. <laughs> so this actually doesn't have any interaction with totems at all. You deal it... two damage and overkill. It summons a basic totem. So you can only use this on minions with one health remaining to get a basic totem. Yep. That valid and incredible value of getting a basic totem. I don't think you will ever put this in your deck. Play Lightning Bolt. Please play Lightning Bolt. Don't don't do this. Or Zap. God, Zap is way better. Or that uh even card that deals two that the two three that deals damage. Yep. Kari Battle Axe. Five mana. Uh is that a row? It's Paladin. Paladin, okay. Right, looking at it, it's completely like that card. Over here, I'll give it a minion in your hand, a 3 2 2. It's a, it's a weapon, so it could be okay. Oh, I feel like Paladin has better weapons than this. What, what are you going to hit with the plus 2 plus 2 that really you'd want? And it's also dependent on overkill, which uh, your opponent will be aware of. Yep. I don't know how easy it is to play around overkill, though. Maybe we'll see. Maybe. Oh, what's your favorite card in the set? It is. It's Arcanosaur. I'll wait until he gets on the screen so everyone can go, ooh, look at the cool art. So this is a dragon, right? It is not a dragon. It is better, not better than a dragon. <laughs> it's it is an elemental dragon. dragon. <laughs> It is it is the bad version of a dragon. You mean, do you mean dinosaurs? You mean dinosaurs? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, it's Arcanosaur, a six mana three three with battle cry. If you played an elemental last turn, deal three damage to all other minions. It is a bad version of Duskbreaker, but it's in mage, which is why it matters. <laughs> And it's an elemental, so, too. So, this card in a vacuum is bad, because Duskbreaker is better. But it's in Mage, which is what why it's important. Because Elemental really, really needs board clear. <laughs> like, oh my god, it is the largest gaping hole in Elemental Mage's like toolbox that we have no way of dealing with wide boards outside of MC tech. Uh -huh. It is, it is a real problem. And on top of that, it's a six man yep. uh, elemental, which matters because there's a, also a huge hole in the six slot for elemental mage. We have like five for bonfire elemental and then nothing for six. And then seven is blaze caller. Yep. Seems tailor made. Yeah. For so this the thing only is perfect. Deck that matters. The only deck that matters. It's an instant three. Odd Rogue. Grifta, four mana. This guy is selling you some dolls. Uh... This is three stars. Uh, Genie's right now. Genie's Lamp and a small kitten. Along he's with got a the little... potion, of, potion of clarity. He's, he's got a... Um, he's got a soap on a rope. Mm -hmm. And a Hulu doll. Three stars. Three stars. I trust Grifta. He has never gone me astray. Here's the Druid Totem. Who left this here? Go in the garbage. Oh, 
Overlord's Whip. I, I mentioned this before. The warrior card that uh, deals one damage to every minion you play. If you're playing a, a deck of like all minions that might want to get hit, then that would be pretty good. Do you, what, what do you combine be. that with, though? Like warrior? Like dragon warrior? Um, it's more... I don't it's more know. like a rush kind of thing. I guess so. Maybe you could fill a card, fill a deck with rush minions and dragon minions, and then it would not have any synergy and be pretty bad. I don't know. I would, I would say you should run it with enrage cards, but they removed enrage. Yeah, they so. did. <laughs> so yeah, maybe, basically, you could, has, maybe you could find a way to use this. It has the exact same effect as animated berserker, but nobody runs animated berserker. But this is a, this is a pretty good weapon though three mana for two four it's not it's on the edge of being okay yeah that's true warrior might have better options but i can't think of any right now it would be a really easy way to activate and hard to remove you would just have an, act an activating effect for the rest of the game as long as you don't attack four times yeah or get oozed Okay, so this is Murloc Tasty Fit and 4 mana 3 2. Death Rattle, will draw two Murlocs from your deck. Eh? It is. Seems okay. It's a Murloc. It's almost. Uh... Cold Light. <laughs> no, uh, what's the Rogue card? Elven Minstrel. It's oh, almost an that, Elven one, Minstrel. that one's pretty good. I forgot, I forgot about it because you can't run that card in the Odd Rogue. Yeah. Same stat line at mana cost, but that's a. Uh... A combo effect and not a death rattle. I'm glad this isn't a legendary. Murloc Mage might run it. Is Murloc Mage still a thing? Yes. Really? I thought yeah. that I thought that went away in season one. Nope. It's okay. A thing again. It's a Murloc, so it belongs in the garbage. It's a fake frog. That's true. Fake frogs right in the garbage. Bad elemental bad flame strike. <laughs> You're not wrong, but however, it's one mana less, which means that it's fine. It's an elemental, which is why it matters. I lost this. Where did I go? There we go. Priest legendary eight mana battle cry. Summon all minions from your hand that didn't start in your deck. Yep. What? Does that mean you have to hold on to the minions that didn't start in your deck? So they can be yes. summoned from your hand. Yep. So, so you like, better not have any good uh, battle cries, or you're wasting your time. So that's like a max of like two minions, and not a very good day, right? Uh, well, first you'd have to use Benedictus, and then. Oh yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> very very late win game win condition. <laughs> yeah, it seems seems not good. I mean you. This might be good in like is there... Rogue. What? There has, there has to be a way in which this is this is a combo enabler, right? I don't know. The rules of didn't start in your deck seem very confusing to me in Priest, especially. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this maybe this could be a combo enabler somehow. Maybe there's something later in the set that works with this. Paca. I don't know. Haunting Visions. Shaman card. Next play, you cast a spell. Cast this turn, cost three less. Discover a spell. Yeah. Seems good. Um, it's about as good it's, as... It's about as good as the... Uh, well, it draws a rain... It draws, it draws a discover a spell, which is still pretty good. It's not quite as good as Primordial Glyph, but uh, you wouldn't run that everything. in a major deck though, if it's a Shaman card. But it, yeah. is, it is about as good as Farsight, and people do play Farsight. However, Shaman spells are pretty garbage, so we'll put them in the card. Because chances are you're gonna get a garbage spell for, you're for your discover get option, instead of the good ones, which are like the two spells they actually play. Predatory Instincts. Draw a beast from your deck and double its health for four mana. Hmm. <laughs> Do druids care about the the health, the health of their beasts? I mean, for lore reasons, yes, but in the card game, I doubt it. 
I don't think this one's going to light up any any uh, druid beast decks. I don't see this being a thing. The card art is very funny, though. It is a big, angry dinosaur thing. Oh god, I fucked up. Put too many frogs on the screen. Saranite Taskmaster, one mana, two, three. Summon a zero, three free agent with taunt for your opponent. Uh, don't give your opponent's taunt unless you have. Oh, actually, this would activate every overkill card in the game. But it's a death rattle, so you can't actually act, you can't actually control when this activates to that that good a degree to actually be used in a real combo involving overkill. Unless there was like some overkill that would actually win you the game. It is a one mana two three though. That summons the zero three with taunt. Which you don't you don't want to do, you don't want to do in any any I guess so it could be like zombie chow I highly doubt it though mass contender you control a secret you play a secret from your deck um uh, is this any good in secret mage I think people might try playing this for a little bit realize it's not all that consistent and throw it in the garbage. Probably. It's got a nice Luja mask, though. Yeah. Blast away, 5 mana, mage card. Deal 2 damage to all minions, overkill, add a random mage soul to your hand. So, dealing 2 damage to all minions is actually probably going to overkill something, right? Wait, it has, has, uh, it has to overkill. It can't just deal 2 damage, so it has to be, like, something with 1 mana. 1 health, yep. How often do you see opponents leaving... <laughs> Minions with one health up against you. <laughs> on turn five? <laughs> on any turn of the game, when you have Frost uh, Jaina, or when you have... After, <laughs> after turn nine, never. And yeah, uh, that overkill does activate for every minion you overkill with it. That's true. So if they have a board of one ones, this is super good. Well... But um, also, this is, this, it, is, this is for something that people already play around with when they're against Mage. Like I don't I, see, see, I don't see us ever really going off unless they like actually like played on Nixie or something. I can see Big Spell Mage wanting to run this just because there's only like two other big spells you could potentially run, and it's a pretty common situation where you just run out of big spells. To... So you mean you'd play this as a as a three mana spell that deals two damage to all minions? Oh and wait, this this also this also works on your own minions. Oh yeah, it'll kill your own shit. So yeah, I I still got no idea. So it only work on one mana cards. Um, I guess you would play. Yeah, big big spells might play this just because. Just because it's, it's, it's a it's a it's a it's a higher cost version of something. Uh, I don't even I don't know if it has the hand size for this though. Let's put maybe. We can't afford that deck anyway, so what do we care? Yeah, I absolutely cannot. <laughs> Pretty close there, aren't you? Soup vendor, two mana, whenever you restore three or more health to your hero, draw a card. I, I don't know who plays that. Into the trash. Yeah, that seems junk. Rebel Bouncer, seven mana, two seven, taunt. Cost two less for each enemy minion. Is this. One less. Cost one less for each enemy minion. Is this any better than. Uh, Hench Thug? Not that one. What is it? Bouncer? Something Bouncer. I know what you're talking about, and... I don't think it's any better. Yeah. It has taunt, though. That's something. It does have taunt. It is a 2-7 with taunt. Walk the plank, like... four mana, pirate card, rogue. Doesn't have anything to do with pirates, though. Destroy an undamaged minion. So it's one mana less assassinate on only undamaged minions. So you cross between backstab and assassinate. I wouldn't put that in the deck, and it's not odd. Yeah, not odd. However, they're very clearly going for an even, even pirate rogue, so that fits that, I, I guess. That's has why it's every covered rogue in card so far been even? Only if it's pirates. Wow. High priest, the call, paladin, three mana, three four. Convert all but one of your hero's health into armor. 
um, health is better than armor. So you would play this at every stage of the game. Armor is better than health, you mean? Yeah, that thing. Yeah. Absolutely. The battle, the battle cry is actually kind of amazing. <laughs> like, yeah, that, that look that maybe to someone who doesn't know that would think that's kind of bad, but no, you would rather have armor than health. Yep. Unless there's like some fucked up interaction where you can drain one health from your opponent, but I don't think that exists. Um, seems to be a shaman weapon, two mana, lick him. Has to plus two attack and you have overload mana crystals. This goes that's in the garbage. A frog. That's, that's a bad, frog. So that's a really bad spirit clause. Spirit clause. You're that's right. A frog. Goes in the frog pile. Can't believe I almost made that mistake. Amani War Bear, seven mana, five rush, taunt beast. Uh, this that's seems good... this seems good to get from build a piece. <laughs> that's a really good uh mount. If you oh. can run, if you can run ZA in well, twenty minutes. <laughs> Okay. Good mount. It goes into the good pile. Yeah, and like how, like Halen is hinting at, um, Paladin has a lot of ways to heal, so that actually makes a lot of their heal cards a little bit better. Not that they weren't good already. But it means like Bart incentivizes you to be able to actually play like uh, cards that might sometimes be a little dead, like a, a Lay on Hand. Revenge of the Wild, two... Two mana hunter some that summon your beast that died this turn. Now this this you could actually like if you have a lot of mid, like beasts with rush that died this turn, that could actually be something in a beast deck for hunter. I I want I want to see what this card does. Okay. Fire tree witch doctor two mana two two. You're holding a dragon. Discover a spell neutral. Um. It's not as good as Nether Spite Historian. There's there's way too much that this could do, so I'm gonna put it here. It does, but you're right though. It does not add, it does not give you more dragons. However, it give you a spell that gives you more dragons. It could in Warrior. Yeah, like this one. So it could potentially give you dragons, potential dragons, quantum dragons. Well, you look in the box, you don't know how many, know how many dragons you have. Warmaster Voodoo and copy old dragons in your hand. It's also a body, and it's four mana, and has reasonable stats. Huh. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and give him props for actually remembering that Warmaster Voodoo is a character. <laughs> um, what's, what's that? He's a boss in Lower Black Rock Spire, a dungeon that almost nobody ran. <laughs> oh, wow. Was that during Cataclysm or something? Nah, vanilla. Oh, God. The Antelari Templar Paladin card. We started to help this game. A game plus four plus four in time. I mean, Heal Paladin was almost a thing before. Already, wasn't it? They're really put. They've been pushing Heal Paladin for a rent. Yeah, there, there's a lot. There's an awful <laughs> lot of. There's an awful lot of Paladin cards that heal. The, yeah, they've been pushing Heal Paladin a lot. And this thing is a monster if you can activate the Battle Cry. And if you don't activate the battle cry, it's a four four on four, which on curve is pretty good. Compared to putting down nothing, it's it's actually okay. Like you it's would you'd like nothing. you would rather have a yeti, but actually just playing this card on four against an aggressive deck might be pretty good. And playing it against an aggressive deck when you when you can activate the battle cry is game ending. Yeah, absolutely. Um... I don't think that actually helps it against against like control decks though. It just makes it better against aggressive decks, and you can still get run over. So this card is too fair to be good. Paladin actually might have better options, but not better even options. So that's actually I'll move this card over here. Okay. A card of the Soul Flayer, ten mana, nine nine. Shuffle a corrupted blood to each player's deck. I don't know that if I'm happy or sad that they made Hakar a meme card. What does Corrupted Blood do? It it deals damage to you when you draw it, and then I think it like replicates. Huh. So when you draw it, it puts more cards into your. Okay, I understand what you mean by meme and Corrupted Blood. I just remembered all that stuff from like a decade ago. <laughs> uh yeah. <laughs> 
Well, I'm just gonna put in the three mana and the three. Whatever, fine. <laughs> okay. Crawl the shark. Yes. Five mana, oh. five mana rogue card. Eat a minion in your deck and gain its stats. Death rattle, add it to your hand. This, okay, this could be really good. <laughs> once I mean, again, once it... I am I am thwarted by Hearthstone's refusal to specify the subject of actions in their card text. <laughs> The minion. You add the minion that Grawl ate to your hands. <laughs> Every streamer I saw that was like talking over this card was like, I'm, which is one of them, seemed to think that this would replicate itself. No. Absolutely. Okay. The, obviously, the idea of this card is that Grawl eats the minion in your deck, and then when, it, when Grawl dies, the minion comes out of its stomach. Okay. Well... Is this good enough to just play? Like, what do you have to hit for it to be worth the, the mana cost? Okay, think about it this way. It's a, so, like, if you hit anything, it eats the minion and gains its stats. So, like, say it's the average minion in your deck is a 3-3. So this would be a 5-5 five, five or 5. And then yep. it draws you a card once it dies. And then, so yep, it's and like, then a, so on average, this is a 5-5 five, five or 5 loot hoarder. Would you play that? I mean... I, I run Bonfire Elemental, which is a 5-5 five, five for 5 that draws a card. <laughs> yeah, I think that as an as, as a trick, that's fine. Assuming it eats, like, the, the Geomancer. <laughs> wow, we, went, we got into actual discussion there, because that's a card that could potentially be an odd rogue, so I took it seriously. Okay, here's another fucking mm -hmm. totem. goes in the garbage. Yep. Fake-ass totem. Call it a totem, you cowards. Untamed Beastmaster, 3-3. Three, three. Oh, it's a spider golem. Spider... Tank. Um, tank, yeah. Whenever you draw a beast, give it 2-2. Two, two. Can we take a minute to appreciate that buff-as-hell dwarf? <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's not a beast, though, so it goes in the trash. It's not a beast. And, and as, as, you, as you saw from that card before, they don't want you to play beast cards that aren't beasts. Yeah, that's kind of weird. 12 mana, <laughs> Grave Horror, Taunt, Priest, cost one less reach spell you cast this game, 7-8. They really want you casting a lot of spells, oh. as Priest. Yeah, and if you, if you get like some bananas, you may actually play this in the course of a game. That's true, you could... Wait, was that banana card, Rogue? I think it was neutral. Oh. Uh, I don't know, maybe. I'm not going to spend more than two seconds on the remaining cards. Okay. It's a little too late. <laughs> Man, I thought we could speedrun this, but then we started actually talking about things. Yeah, Raiding party. Draw two pirates from your deck and a weapon. Uh, This is an odd pirate rogue card. Who knows? Maybe it'll be good. Yeah, maybe. Draw two pirates from your deck and a weapon is pretty uh, fucking sick. Assuming your deck is, is uh, geared towards that. I mean, so if, you, you, if you can you get just... away with running that, you may you, you may get away with running that. Three minute draw two is pretty good on its own. Yeah. Smolder Thorn Lancer, three mana, three two. Battle Pirate holding a dragon to destroy damage enemy minion. So a body with an old execute effect on it? Yep. Eh, works in the Dragon Warrior. They're really pushing for that. It'd be better if this were a dragon, but it's a little too much. Yeah. Warlock, Soul Warden. 666, add three random cards you discarded this game into your hand. 666. This card lock. I don't think that's ever coming back. It's coming back this set right here. Because if it doesn't come back this set, we're fucked. Because I think the quest is rotating next, next set. <laughs> Until Hearthstone gets actual discard mechanics, it's never going to work. Well, maybe and you'll be speaking surprised. Speaking of that, here are some uh, discard mechanics. There we go. Reckless Dire Troll, whatever the fuck this says. It's a pretty good taunt with a battle cry to discard your lowest cost card. So that is better than the current taunt to three. The current three mana that discards one of your cards. Because you can control yeah, which one gets lost. But also, um, it would add all the... Cards you discard get added to your hand. I guess you can control, which, yeah, being able to control is good. 
It is. This is the, this is the that's the best hope that they actually have. Of discard it ever is. being a fucking thing. High priest, that is definitely high, the best high priest Drickler, card. four mana, three four, taunt, life steal. When discard this, add two copies of it to your hand. Um, this is pretty good on its own. Three mana, life steal, and taunt. Yep. And if you discard it, you get two more copies. That's pretty good. And you can even bring it yep. back with the soul word. I really, really want it to be a thing for like even one day. <laughs> Pushing hard. Discard your lowest cost card, deal two damage to all minions. That's pretty good for one mana. Yep. One mana cards should not be underestimated. Daring Fire Eater, Battle Cry, your next hero of pure power this turn deals two damage. Two, two more damage. Two more damage. That's, uh. I mean, we were crapping, I mean, a, we were crapping on this earlier. <laughs> it's a pretty bad minion. I like. What it, benefit does this have over Elven Archer? I feel, like, I feel like, okay, the benefit it has is when you have Jaina active, suddenly your opponent can't have anything with three health on the board or it turns into a water elemental. So it's a one mana card that's useless until turn 13. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a pretty bad card, but I could see it going off and being hysterical. <laughs> And like I said before, the last time, one of some of the mage cards that were centered around the hero power went up. It doesn't seem like it synergizes. Having small cards synergizes with what they're trying to do with that deck. But whatever, fine, it works with Jaina. Let's put it in the elemental mage. Who fuck it? Who cares? <laughs> Board control. Uh, what the hell? Who put this here? Uh, would you play this in. Ooh. That's an actual effect. <laughs> If it was three mana, it would be good. Why can't it be two mana? Because you can't run it in an odd mage. I haven't seen this card before. Oh, I did. Uh, seven mana, four force are here. Tear power dealt eight damage this game. Summon Ragnaros the Fire Lord. Okay, uh, this is. <laughs> This is clearly, we want you to play Odd Mage, the card. <laughs> yeah. But I could potentially see running this in Elemental Mage because Ragnaros is an Elemental. That's true. You couldn't play it until, like, turn 20 <laughs> because you wouldn't have it active. But if you did run it, it would be interesting. And that would be a reason to run uh, the Daring Fire Eater because it makes stacking the, the eight damage not take forever. Yeah, and I guess like, I guess Mage has an open slot in the one mana realm for minions right now. Oh wait, no, we don't because Firefly and Glacial Shard are the best one drops in the game. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Well, nice bird. Nice bird. Water boy, next hero powerless turn costs zero. I don't think you would actually play this to get the discount in a, in a realistic deck. Like you're putting too many low minion, I mean low cards into your deck at that point. I don't think it's worth like getting a discount on your hero power. You might you might be able to do something like wacky with it though. So that could go and I'll put it in the maybe file. It could maybe be like a combo thing. But if it's not, it's garbage. Zent mm. Zentimo Shaman one three target a menu of the spell that also targets adjacent ones. I can't He's think of I can't, I can't think shoulders. of anything this would be good with actually. Oh yes, frogs right, on frogs on shoulders. shoulders into the frog pile. Okay. Next card. A new challenger. Paladin seven mana discover six six cost minions seven as taunt and divine shield. Uh yeah, I guess they're just giving everyone the the joust benefit now. Yeah. I mean, I don't see any downsides to using this card. It seems pretty good. I don't know. I mean, unless you just hit a swath of garbage six costs. Yeah, but with this cover, that's actually not that likely. Yeah. The strength of this cover is that you're unlikely to get all bad options. True. Kurabashi Chicken, overhill gain, five attack. Nice bird. Nice bird. Nice bird. 
counter it all to, to counter it all the fake totems. Yep. Undasta. Is this the card you, you recognize from WoW or something? Not I. Okay, nine mana, seven seven. Uh, it's got rush. And an overkill effect. I don't yep. I don't know how good rush overkill is gonna do, but they've seemed to be putting it on really high high mana cards. It's got seven attack, so overkill seems pretty easy to trigger. I got no idea on that one. But it's probably good. You could summon a charged Elzor to go face. It's also a beast, so if you copy it if it copies itself you'd like you'd still like to have it. Okay. Ironhide dire horn. That's a mouthful. Overkill, summon a 5-5 five, five iron hide run. 7-7-7. Seven, seven, seven. Mm. You got this for free, it might be pretty good. Still it's have a the, beast. You still have to attack with it, but it's actually... it's the same, This thing is like similar to like Kodo, the Kodo Rider. Where if you, if you if... leave it up, it's actually probably going to get it, get, it, get its effect off. This would be good if you got it off of a Stampeding Roar. I mean, I think, I think this card's pretty real. It doesn't have taunt though, but it's like it's a threat. It's a really big threat. Yeah. In Druid, which doesn't exist. Beast Druid, that is. So who knows? Seems like Druid can get away with doing anything though. Priest seven seven seven. Draw one cost minions from your deck until your hand is full. I have no fucking clue what this is supposed to be a combo for, but I'm putting it into the maybe pile. Okay, this this matters with the totem next. Next card? Yeah. Sphere of the Dead. Stealth for one turn. A friendly, after a friendly minion dies, shuffle a one cost copy of it into your deck. Okay, see. I see. It's a combo. Yep. It's a fake totem, so further cowardice, it goes in the garbage. Yep. We're going to finish this before nine, I swear to God. We're almost Voyager there. and Gnome. Two mana. Oh, this guy sucks. It's better than Silverback Patriarch. Heavy metal, six mana. Summon a random minion with a cost equal to your armor up to ten. It's Chio Sculptor, yep. Yeah. I, I appreciate cheap options of good cards for people who don't have very much dusk. Ticket Scalper for Overkill, draw two cards. <laughs> Benefit of this card is pretty good, but I don't think I would actually play it. Unless it's like, I don't know, maybe, fucking maybe. I don't know, it's a Demon Pirate, who knows. I don't know. Time out. Here is a new next turn. They gave Paladins Ice Block. A bad Ice Block, yep. I don't know what they would use that for. I don't know. Combo Actually, ice, ice Block's pretty good. Uh, ice Block automatically goes in here. <laughs> Cannon Barrage. Now this this card enables uh, even even Pirate Rogue. Deal yeah. 3 damage to random and repeat for each of your Pirates. That could deal a shitload of damage. That could deal a shitload of damage. It just hits an enemy and not just minions, so you can go face with it. Yep. Hex Lord Malacras. Battle cry, add a copy of your opening hand to your card your hand. Accept this card. This seems useless. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Being playing around this card. I mean this this would draw you like five cards, right? Or three cards. Yeah. But like, you have to think about it. When when you if you have this in your deck, you have to I think. Hate thinking. From the do I want to do I want a mulligan for late game with Malakras or mulligan for early game and not lose? Mm -hmm. Well, here's a pyromaniac involving the hero power min mage deck that doesn't currently exist. They really want to play. They're really pushing that odd mage. Uh mm huh. -hmm. It's got good stats. Spider tank. Spider tanks are always semi viable. I appreciate all fire all spider tanks. Radium Toads, Shaman card, Overload Three. Frogs. It's a bad spreading plague. It's a frog. It's a toad. Into the frog pile though. The roommates. Frog and toad are roommates. Faded arrow. Deal through damage, over overkill, summon a 5-5 double store. That sounds good on paper, until you see this card is 5, 
mana. Five mana is uh, by inconsistent. I think I would rather spend four mana and get a three three wolf every time. Yeah, me too. Spring paw rush battle cry out of one one links with rush to your hand. That was good. What what is this replace? I don't know. Uh, I mean, it competes with what Firefly. It competes with the Alley Cat, directly. Yeah, it's it's very similar to Alley Cat. You don't get it for free, but it has Rush. Beast Hunter Beast with Rush might be a thing. I'll leave it there. It's a good thing to get off of uh, Build a Beast too, because it's a cheap Rush minion. Uh huh. Seven Striker Battle Cry deal two da deal damage equal to an, the enemy minion equal to what? Deal damage equal to an enemy minion equal to. Deal your damage to an enemy minion equal to your hero's attack. That seems bad. No one plays savagery. Get out of here. Combos with pounce. Combos with savagery. <laughs> <laughs> and even when we were discussing that card, we did not bring up savagery. Void contract. I'm sorry, half of each player's deck. I don't have destroy, much to say about that one. <laughs> destroy your opponent's combo pieces. Yep. That card seems insane. <laughs> Immortal Prelate, two mana, Death Arrow, shuffle this into your deck and keeps any enchantments. It's King's Bane for Galvadon. It's Galvadon, though, so it doesn't garbage. Galvadon's, oh, Galvadon's actually okay, so second. Galvadon's red. Galvadon's very uh, prismatic. Indeed. Surrender to Madness, destroy three of your mana controls, give all minions in your deck two plus two plus two. That's fucking horrible. I don't see any way you'd be, be good way to claim that deck, that card. I, yeah, no. Freak the bat. Fill your board of copies of this minion. <laughs> I hope you had some hand buff go off. You did not. Unfortunate. Are you sure? You did not. Definitely not. Sphere of the bat. Still for one turn. After a friendly minion dies, give your give a minion in your hand plus one plus one. Hand buff. Totem. That's not a good totem. It's not. Spear of the Shark. Now, now we're talking. Still for one turn, you've been in the battle cries and combos triggered twice? Wow. Oh, wait. It's it's even. Trash. It is even. I can see double cold blood being a real fucking beast, though. Yeah, that would be pretty interesting. But it's... Uh, hmm. Actually, hold on. You could play double cold blood on this minion because it is stealth. Yeah. That's fucking insane. That's, that's, that's the five mana, eight, eight, three. Okay. That's pretty good now. <laughs> Shervala the Tiger, 25. Cost one less for each mana you spent on spells. <laughs> I hope you spent a lot of mana on spells. Yeah, this card seems literally unplayable for a large part of the game. 25 is pretty steep. However, it has Russian lifesteal and 7 attack. And divine shield. Which means that it's like a four, it's like a 14 it's like a 14 uh, health heal at almost by default. So, in in a heal paladin, this would be very this would be a good card to have. Mm. Sharkfin fam, after your hero attack, summon a 1 1 pirate. I mean, it's a pirate. It makes yep. more pirates. It's a pirate that makes pirates. I think that rogue can do better, but whatever. Sure. Maybe. Last card Soul Thrace, epic. Warrior. Weapon, overkill, you may attack again. Overkill. Seems like, makes it seems like a really inconsistent. good way to kill yourself. Yeah. But we have Fool's Bane for that. That's true. No, we don't. Full pain rotated. <laughs> okay, that's we're out of cards. That's it. That's all of them. We okay, spent, we actually went a little over. <laughs> we spent two hours talking about a, a lot of cards when only three of them mattered. <laughs> well, this has helped me inform my decision to not buy any packs for this expansion. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna. Caleb, Caleb's right. This card is even. That's true. For that pirate, that even pirate rogue, I don't think actually is real. Maybe. I'm going to spend uh, 80 dust crafting my two Arcanosaurs, and that's about it. 
Uh, so what other elemental mage cards do you think are going to be good in Scorch? Maybe I not. would I would have to play around with Scorch and Elemental Invocation to try to make not like a book list build work, but I don't I'm not sold on it. And if it doesn't, I don't know if I feel like those are those cards are setups for later uh, sets rather than anything you're supposed to use now. Well, they nerfed my favorite tech, which was Rogue Quest, so they can go fuck themselves. That's true. Goodbye, Blizzard. <laughs>